Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 280. Minimum operations to make the way alternating. Um, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, make your operation joining me on Discord. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, this one I actually had a, a, the most trouble with, I think, by the time I think I spent actually the longest and had one wrong answer. Um, uh, you could look at Q4, but I, I have another explanation for that one. You can watch that video or the contest and see my ex uh, complaint there. But but basically, uh, yeah, if if we did not have this constraint, actually it was very easy because then you could um, break, apart, um, break apart the odd indexes and the even indexes and then do them independently in a greedy way. And that's where I, what I tried to do during the contest initially. And then when I um, ran it for this case, I got the wrong answer because you cannot convert it to the two. So, so this is an example where they actually gave me a good example uh, test case, and I was, um, you know, trying to figure out how to do it. Um, and this is the really messy way that I did it. Um, and also, I, I did have one an wrong answer on this one because I got so distracted by this that I forgot about the one element case, which you should just return zero. But I, eh, right. So what I did here is just keeping account of the even indexes and odd indexes and then just sort them and, and also keep track of how many numbers there are. And then in that case, which, uh, if the even, if, um, if the number that appears the most, so in a greedy way, you want the number that appears the most, right? If, um, and this is our base case, if the number that appears the most on the even index and the odd index are not the same, then you have a very easy solution. You just greedily um, take those two numbers and then make them alternating. And, and, and this formula basically is saying, um, uh, we have this n number of even indexed numbers and this is the max value that uh, showed up. So, so then you have to change all the other numbers, so you subtract them. And then you do the same thing for odds. And that's basically the idea. However, if the numbers do match, meaning, meaning that if the max number for odds index and even index is the same, then we do this thing where um, it's just a lot of cases. But I think one of them cannot be I think this case cannot be true or um, I, this case cannot be true because um, even numbers always have I mean you will always have more even indexed number than odd index so only this case is needed but I, I didn't want it to chance it during the contest so I kind of typed it all out but the idea is that you just you try um, you try both cases right you try okay for the even index take the max num uh, even uh, number gets the max and then I gets the, the second max, right? Um, and then you also try the other thing of, okay, let odd get the max and then even get the second max. So that's basically the idea. Um, and I just enumerated all the possible cases to get the answer. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have a simpler solution because this is quite messy. And in terms of complexity, uh, well, I did sort of for, uh, um, for n log n here, there's a lot of n space here. This is L of n, obviously, and this is O of 1, essentially, right? This is just a lot of if statements. So the, the thing that might have it is here, this sorting makes it n log n instead of O of n, but you can actually, if you have enough time, uh, keeping in mind that this is my contest code, if you have enough time, you could do this with a, a not a linear sort, but you could just keep track of the two max items, right? If you only keep track of the two max items, then technically you don't need sorting, but this is easier for me to write. You, you just need to get the two max items for the rest of this code, and you could do that in linear time, obviously. So if you do that, then everything would be in linear time, linear space. The way that I did it is n log n time of n space just because of this sorting. Um, cool. Um, I think a lot of people found this the trickiest problem of the set. I don't know if you agree. Let me know what you think. Oh, sorry, of the non-Q4 set anyway, um, or it's easier than Q3, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, you could watch me stop live during the contest, next. Good. That is just GCD though. Okay.
Donc, euh, that's two, there's that. Mm, this is a little bit more annoying, maybe, but. Um, okay, let's see. Mm, that, that's not bad. Okay, fine. Uh, Oh, what the? What did I press? Okay. Oh no, what am I doing? Uh, okay, so. Mm. Mm. That's the best number. Uh, link. Uh, Tweet one again. No, that's two. One and one. Oh. Huh. That okay. I actually did not figure that out. Okay, fine. Uh, hmm. Uh, that's just annoying. Okay. Uh, do, 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 what am I doing? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. How do I do this then? Whoops, almost a minute, to be honest. Uh, hmm. Mm, okay, so uh, oh, I have to care about the value, don't I? Hmm. It's probably a cleaner way of doing this, but I am too slow. Uh, the not alternating thing is a little bit annoying. Um, uh, eating my parallelities. Okay, that's good. Yes, okay. Wait, now I need the max. Okay, and then now. No. Do something else. Wait, maybe. Yeah. Minus plus uh, Okay, this should still be three zero. No? Oh, wait, uh, uh, okay, or three, whatever this is. Okay, um, in this case, if they're the same, then. 
return min of Uh, this is such a mess actually. What if you can do it? Okay, well, I guess the constraints are such that you can always, okay. Wow, this is an annoying uh, problem. So if they're the same, then. <coughs> so. That's ET minus here. ET minus OV oh, one and one. Right? Uh, I know that doesn't really matter, but that is the problem is this only happens if length of OV is greater than zero or greater than one. Otherwise then we can also just do this is zero, so this is just OT. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, otherwise mm, same thing. Maybe there's a good cleaner way of doing it, to be honest. This is so error prone, I'm not really happy about it. Uh, okay. Let's give it a submit. Yeah. Where you see make ah oh. ah oh, oh, one number, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I uh. I hate this. Okay. I actually was thinking about it, but uh, but I am dumb and I didn't really think. I, I got distracted by all this stuff. And then, yeah. I mean, that's only one number, so it should be zero, I guess, right? Should still return zero though. But okay, let's just return zero though. Okay. I was so worried there would be an uh yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy. To good mental health, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.